Red Hot, huh? Brian King, UK4 TV. Uh, today we're over in uh, Burnley. Uh, we're joined by Andy Burry from AFB Flooring Solutions. Uh, Andy, how are you doing? All right, thanks, Brian. You? Yeah, yeah, not so bad. Good. Uh, last time, I think last time we saw each other was just before lockdown, wasn't it? Last year in March, That's right, yeah. February. I was at uh, Blackburn Theatre and yeah. you met for a socially distanced break. That's right, I did. So you were busy then, are you still as busy? Still busy, Brian, yeah. Yeah, it's been really busy. Um, it's not really slowed down in any way. Good. Um, so, yeah, can't complain. Uh, what, what, we're on site here, Randy. I've come visiting you on site. What, what project are you doing? What are you doing here? Uh, nice little steady job, Brian, today. Uh, just a classroom, sensory room in a school. So we've uplifted the old tiles, carpet tiles, uh, six mil ply to the floor, and we've put some polysafe Verona down on some Vermitex tiles. Uh, what, so what materials are you using? What from step like start to finish? What adhesives? What? So we've used um, the Ardex pressure sensitive. We've used Ardex feather, and we've used Q Mark six mil ply. Um, uh, what products is it? Bermatex. It's Bermatex Tivoli carpet tiles and Polysafe Verona. Andy, what's it been like for you the last twelve months with the, the COVID thing, uh, business-wise? To be honest, it's been all right, really. Um, we've carried on working through it since the start. To be honest, um, we did some work at the start in some hospitals, uh, some places where they were making PPE. Um, masks and whatnot. Um, so yeah, it's just been business as usual, really. What's it been like material-wise? It... Well, that's uh, my wife Fran's job. She does everything office-based, pricing work the lot. So she'll know. I just turn up on site and fit it. She just gives you a pack lunch in the morning. And no, she doesn't. Pack <laughs> no pack lunch. But yeah, as far as I'm aware, it's, it's all, always been alright. Yeah. Uh, your company, AFB Flooring, uh, how long has it been going? We've been going about 10 years now. 10 years? About 10 years. And who works there? Have you got staff? Uh, it's mainly me and my wife. Yeah. Fran runs everything, like I say, I just go out fitting. Uh, we've got Nathan who's with us today. Um, that's all cards in and we use the same subbies as and when. We've got our own subbies who we like to use, who we trust. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been in the industry, Andy, and how, how did you get into it? 25 years, uh, the old, through my dad, that old routine. So yeah, even before I left school, I was working with him every weekend, out with him, fitting, well, not fitting, but you know, learning, sweeping up, going on the butty runs and stuff, but yeah. You found most, uh, I've had a family member, what works the, or, or, yeah, or yeah. fell into it. Yeah. So, uh, you're an instructor at Floor Skills Training Centre as well. How yeah. did that come about? Um, well, the the guy who I to, took over from Dan um, Jones, is Dan it? Jones, yeah. Daniel Jones. Yeah, he was leaving, um, and I think Matt Bourne put um, a post out on one of the, the groups. Um, a, a few people put my name forward, so I, I spoke to Matt, and he invited me down for the um, assessment. So I went down for an assessment and then got the job. What did you have to do, like fit a bay out or something? Yeah, it was just yeah. fitting bays, different ways of fitting external corners, uh, welding, just basic um, cap and cough stuff really. Yeah. Um, we've been an instructor at Floor Skills, because Floor Skills, are, 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 when it's open, it's mainly busy. And you've got a busy business as well. So how do you juggle the time? Can be hard work sometimes. Um, but we get plenty of notice on the courses, which is a good thing. So we can always sort of work it in, which is uh, good. Uh, Andy, I've, I've known you a few years now, and you, you work a lot with Andy McLean, who, who I, I sometimes work with. The thing, you seem to work some crazy hours. Um, I mean, I've done it in my twenties, I've worked stupid hours, long hours. But as soon as I hit like my mid thirties, I kind of slowed down, but I don't know you and Andy, you seem to still work <laughs> stupid hours. Are you going to slow down or? 
How you come you work so, so long hours? Is just, it just, just what I've been thing? used to, just how we, how, how we used to work with Andy um, when we were cardsing for firms together for years. Yeah. Um, we used to work with my, like my dad and some old school fitters and they just they used to just beast you really. So it's, it's just the way we've just carried on working. Like I, I, uh, Andy did a job for me the week before Christmas and he, would, he turned up, you know, he got me into trouble to get this job done for Christmas, but he was turning up at seven o'clock at night, putting a shift in, yeah. going home and doing it again the day after. Yeah, we've done it before, 20, 30 hour shifts on the bounce, not for a while, but yeah, it's hard work, but it's just what we used to doing. Uh, I'd call you contract lads, are not you? Yeah. Us domestic fitters <laughs> are soft. Uh, what do you most like about the industry, Andy? Some good people, met some good people, very good people. Um, I say job wise, I like going into a different job most days or most weeks doing different things. Um, not every job's the same, a bit of variety. Yeah, so if somebody asks me what do I like about the industry, my first thing is the people. Because yeah. in this industry, they're from one extreme to the other. Yeah. And uh, like I say, you're out to different places every day. Yeah. Uh, what do you dislike about the industry? The people as well. <laughs> so yeah, certain people I can't stand. Say, for example, subbies who claim they're on three hundred quid a day, turn mm. up. Can I borrow this? Can I borrow that? No tools. Yeah. Not organised. Just want to just do three, four hours work. Get back in the van and get gone. Uh, what products are, you, are impressing you at the, min, in, at the minute? Products. Well, we've used the uh, Bostic Roll for about three, four years now. That's brilliant. Mm. Um, LVT wise, maybe like Moduleo. Um, some few new smoothing compounds out that um, are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the big debate smoothing compounds. What's your preferred compound and why? We're big on Ardex to be honest. Yeah. Um, Ardex CL, Ardex NA. They're pretty much what we use daily. Great products. Yeah, great Some products, good price. Them, but uh, I mean, NA, CL, I use those. Yeah. Brilliant products. Yeah, always use Ardex really. Uh, you're active on some of the social media groups. Uh, what are your views on those? I think they're pretty good to be honest. Um, I've met some good people through them. Uh, I've worked for people off them and I've had some good lads off the groups as well that have come to work for us as subbies so in that respect and again the floor skills job came about really through through the Facebook groups. When used properly they're very handy. Yeah they can be. Yeah, I've yeah. come stuck on a job and then you put, put a post on a group and then you get the answer within seconds. Yeah it's good for that, it's yeah. good for that. Goes the other way sometimes doesn't it? When well, yeah. Someone's asking for advice and they just get shot down. Yeah, that's basically. that's the that's the downside of them. Crazy. Yeah, but the good outweigh the bad. Of course it does. Yeah, yeah I think so. Finally, Andy, uh, have you any plans over the next few years, business-wise? Do you, are you going to grow? Are you happy to stay in the same? Where, where, where do you think you're going to move? Pretty happy to be honest. At the minute, um, like to get a few more courses done and basically just carry on the way we're going. Um, we used to have a few more fitters that worked for us, so I suppose we might have been a bit bigger then. But you just get more, you can get more problems. More I've done it. So I've two vans, four staff. Yeah, yeah. Just more, more hassle. Yeah. So very happy the way we are at the minute, to be honest. Brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, Andy, thanks for speaking to us. Cheers, Brian. Thanks for inviting me on. Start. You're welcome, mate. Thanks and, for coming. Uh, thanks, thanks for your time. Cheers.